Hi Bowl Bakers. When I launched my cookbook this year, I got lots of requests from you asking to show you how to make a substitute for golden syrup. I use this a lot in my book. It's a key ingredient in Irish baking. It is very, very similar to a corn syrup. It's thick, it's amber in color, it's really caramelly. We don't have corn syrup in Ireland, so we use golden syrup instead. It's great in recipes for cookies, and it's a key ingredient in my homemade honeycomb. I'm gonna show you how you can make a fantastic substitute at home with just three ingredients. So into my saucepan, I'm going to add in my small amount of sugar and a little amount of water. And then over a medium low heat, I'm just gonna let this sugar dissolve. Now you don't want this to simmer at this point, you want the sugar to dissolve before it starts to simmer. And just so you know, I'm using a heavy bottom saucepan because we're making a caramel technically and you want a really good heavy bottom saucepan to do that. So I'm just swirling my pot here a little bit and I can see that my sugar is now dissolved. So we can now at this point bring it to a simmer. So I might turn it up a tiny bit. What we're going for is a rich amber color. So this will take a few minutes to form. So here I have the color of caramel that I want. It's not smoking, it is nice and brown. It's a nice rich color. This took around eight to 10 minutes or so. Try and get the same color that I did. And when you get to this stage, we're going to add in our larger amount of sugar, our boiling water, make sure it's water that just came off the boil, and then also our acid, which is lemon juice. I'm gonna add that in there. Lemon juice is really important. It stops it from crystallizing. You don't want to leave that out. Then go in with a whisk and whisk in your sugar. Now, I just want you to know that it will lump at this stage. Don't worry, you didn't do anything wrong. We're just gonna keep on whisking and those lumps of sugar are gonna work themselves out. They won't be there in the end, so don't worry. So just continue whisking until you've got the lumps out of there. They're pretty much gone now. And now what I want to do is still over a medium low heat, a nice controlled simmer. We're gonna let this simmer for around 17 to 20 minutes or so, but I'm gonna show you what color and what stage you want it to be at before you turn it off. So now we're a few minutes into the simmering process. I just want to show you something. If I put in my spatula and I drip off the golden syrup, you can see that it is just like dripping off really fast and it's not hanging around at all. That means it's not ready yet, it's not near done. We're gonna let it continue simmering and then I'm gonna come back and I'll show you as it thickens. Okay, we're a few more minutes in and as you can see, when I put my spatula in, the sugar is starting to thicken and it's slowly dripping off my spatula. Not as slow as I want it to, but it's starting to slow down, so we're gonna keep on going. So it's been simmering away for around 17 to 18 minutes. And as you can see, when I put in my spatula now, the caramel has thickened and it's dripping even slower off my spatula. Now you might need a little bit more time, you might need a little bit less time, that really all depends. I just want you to keep an eye on the texture and the consistency that you're looking for. Also, if you're thinking, Gemma, this doesn't look like golden syrup, it's really runny, it is. But the thing about it is when golden syrup goes cold, it firms up a lot. So you do want it to have it at this stage. So once it goes completely cold, it'll be nice and syrupy just like golden syrup. So I'm gonna turn off the heat and just pop it over to a colder part of the stove and let it cool down completely in there. So I gave my golden syrup around an hour or so, maybe a little bit longer. And as you can see, it has completely thickened and cooled down. So this is perfect. So right now we're gonna get it into a nice airtight jar. So the good news here is that your golden syrup will last for ages in an airtight container in the cupboard. So you're looking at around eight weeks minimum, but it probably will last a lot longer. Golden syrup is a fantastic ingredient to bake with. So don't forget to use it in my cookies, my cakes, and my homemade honeycomb. I'll see you back here really soon for more bigger, bolder baking.